Hello everyone. Welcome to the video session on topographical surface sheet. We have completed colors and their significance in topographical maps in last video. Today's topic of discussion is conventional signs and symbols in a topo sheet. So let's begin the topic. Types of heights. There are four kinds of heights you can see on the topographic map. That is triangulated height, then spot height, benchmark, and relative height. For triangulated height, it is the height of a place which has been calculated using trigonometry, represented by a small triangle. So as you know, that trigonometry is a branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of the sides and angles of triangles and with the relevant functions of any angles okay for an example i have written beside this triangle 550 okay here i have written beside this tri triangle 200 so triangle in black not filled with color so it is not filled with color it is only black in shape so normal triangle with number written that is triangulated height in meter it is generally used to indicate mountain peak. Next symbol that is spot height. Here we can see a black dot or we can say black spot. So the height of a particular point above the sea level that is spot height. So it can be 340, it can be 460, it can be anything. So it means that the height of that particular point is 46 in meters above the sea levels. It is generally found on maps which shows the height of a particular hill or mountain. Benchmark. BM has been written in capital letter. So, it's showing the height of that mark above the sea level. So, it is a surveyor's mark cut in a wall, pillar or building and used as a a reference point in measuring altitude. So, it is showing the height of that mark above the sea level. So, this is a symbol of benchmark. Same thing, it can be any number, it can be 56, it can be 36, it can be any kinds of numbering. Relative height, 3R, here I have written 3R. So, as the same way, it can be 4 or 5 or in meter. So, this is found basically near rivers, wells, tanks to mark it its height. Relative height means the height of a place measured in relation with its surroundings. It can be defined as the height of the contour with respect to its surroundings, mainly the ground level and not sea level. 3R means that the contour 3M, it means 3 in meter higher than the surrounding ground. For an example, 3R means the relative height of contours, embankment, river banks, well, etc. So, whenever you can see this 3R, 3R has been written, if you see this 3R has been written beside the well, it means that 3R which indicates that particular well which is 3 in meter. If it is written beside the tank, then you have to understand that that particular tank which is 3 in meter, the height of that particular tank that is 3 in meter. Then brackish. Brackish means unfit to drink. Okay, this is a symbol of brackish. And on the topographic map, this is how it has it will be written. Okay. Brackish water is water having more salinity than fresh water, but not much as sea water. It may result from mixing sea water with fresh together. Okay, so on topographic map, if you are trying to find out this brackish, then you have to look for this symbol. So along with this symbol, it has it will be written like brackish in capital letter, which is unfit to drink or we can say undrinkable water. 
Now I will discuss about contour line or contour. So contour is a we can say imaginary line. So it is a line on a map joining points of equal or same heights or elevation above sea level. Contour is a line on your map that show a change in elevation. Okay, so here I have uh, I have uploaded a picture that is which denotes as a contour line. Okay, so the color brown is used to denote most contour lines on a map which are relief features and elevation. Okay, so contour line is an imaginary line which is joining points of equal or same height. Can you see here? It is also zero. Here also zero in feet. Okay, 500, this side also 500, so we can say that it is joining points of equal or same elevation, isn't it? Okay, so this is how it is coming, okay. For direction of flow of river, look for an arrow. Here I have written a question, so this is how they can ask the question related with the direction of flow of river. So, what is the general direction of flow of Shipunadi given in the map extract? So, we know that the river flows from higher level to lower level. To find the answer, you have to look for an arrow in the river. So, river can be perennial or non-perennial. Let's try to find out the answer from this map. As you can see here, the upper portion of the map that is north, here that the, the uh, down portion of the map that is south and right hand side that is east and left hand side that is west. After seeing this map, or after seeing this river, we can see that the river, the Shiponadi, which is flowing from northeastern sides towards the southwestern sides. So my answer is northeast to southwest. Sometime they asked, they will mention a settlement name and they asked like that, on which bank of the river the settlement Sapol, here we can see Sapol, the settlement name Sapol is being located. So how you can understand the uh, river bank? So if you are moving from northeastern to towards the southwestern side, then just try to imagine that the point of this arrow, which is your head, so you are moving from this side to towards this side, then definitely it will be your right hand side and it will be your left hand side. So we can say that the settlement support is located in the left hand side or left bank. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.